from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Greetings. So I'm Pam Jackson, director for the Center for the Book, which includes the Poetry and Literature Center here at the Library of Congress. And I'd like to welcome you this afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. Today is a really, really special day. And we're here to celebrate um, with a series of events that start uh, with um, this afternoon's concert. So. Today, we are here to celebrate the conclusion of the second term of the U.S. Poet Laureate Juan Felipe Herrera. And what an honor and a privilege it is to be here to be part of this amazing day, especially because of the remarkable and phenomenal artistry of this man. I just use the word magical. <laughs> just magical. That's who, he, who you are. I'm talking to Juan right now, so just excuse me while I talk directly to him. Um, but, you know, we're here to celebrate you and honor you uh, for your work and your service to the country. And um, in representation of uh, the Poet Laureateship, there have been a remarkable series of activities and events over the last couple of years. So today we celebrate with some more remarkable events culminating with um, a noon concert today, and we'll follow by some evening festiv festivities I'll mention um, just briefly. But I'll start by saying that uh, today's series of events are brought to you with, by the Poetry and Literature Center in partnership with the Library of Congress American Folklife Center and the Music and Hispanic Divisions of the Library of Congress. And here at the library, it's our mission um, to... to um, really promote ourselves as the first cultural institution and in service of being the first cultural institution, we focus on providing the American people and globally with a rich, diverse, and enduring source of knowledge that can be relied upon to stimulate intellectual and creative endeavors. And we especially believe that our Poet Laureate and the events both today and throughout the two terms he served have done just that, to empower us, to expand our thinking, to have us be intellectually and creatively endeavoring on our own and for a purpose. Because it's not just to do it, but it's for a purpose. And one of the things that we talk about here is to broaden our sense of the world through the arts and the culture that we celebrate at the Library of Congress. So this afternoon's event is the first of Speak the People, the Spark El Poema events and includes a choral performance by the Fresno State Chamber Singers. These singers hail from Mr. Herrera's hometown and will perform um, newly commissioned pieces developed in collaboration with our Poet Laureate. Their performance credits include conventions, festivals, and members of the Chamber Singers have toured Mexico, China, and even Europe. So they're with us today to conclude their own 2016-2017 season with a fabulous presentation of music, lyric, and poetry. So we're thankful to several individuals from Fresno State who are making this concert happen, including the Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, Saul Jimenez Sandoval. If, hey, thank you, hello. <laughs> Associate Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, Honorera Chapman. Hello. <laughs> Composers, Benjamin Boone and Kenneth Froelich. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, cor and choral director, Carrie Earnhardt. And she'll be joining us up front just shortly. We'd also like to thank the chair of the music department here at the Library of Congress, Matthew Darling, who couldn't be with us today, but sends his regards. So I will note for those of you with us in the room and also those of you online, first of all, let me stop and acknowledge, we've got a lot of folks from Fresno State and California with us on live, so say hello to the camera. Welcome, welcome to you across the country viewing us. 
We want to make note that the festivities will continue after today's concert uh, this evening, starting at 7 p.m. here in the Thomas Jefferson Building, downstairs in the Coolidge Auditorium. There's an event that includes a panel discussion about the continuing emergence of Latino culture and its influence on the nation, featuring our, featuring our own Juan Felipe Herrera, and then that's followed by a concert with the Grammy Award-winning East LA Chicano rock band Quetzal, and they will be closing out the celebration. Now, we should also mention there are a couple of displays downstairs uh, outside the Coolidge Auditorium in the vestibule area from each of the Library of Congress units, the Music Division, Hispanic Division, Poetry and Literature Center, and American Folklife Center. So, just a bit of housekeeping before we get started to avoid unnecessary distraction. If you've not already done so, please take a moment to silence your mobile devices. And we are recording today's event, besides live streaming. So if you do participate, you'll become part of our webcast. And you can feel free to look for yourself online at our series of webcasts at loc.gov poetry. Now, here to introduce the program and participants for this afternoon's concert is Dr. Carrie Earnhardt, who's the conductor of the Fresno State Chamber Singers and also the director of their chorale activities. She is a phenomenal artist in her own right and combines her careers as conductor, teacher, and singer. She's in demand as a conductor, clinician, and educator, and has worked with choirs all over the U.S. and abroad. She holds degrees in vocal performance and pedagogy, with advanced degrees in choral conducting and related field studies in vocal pedagogy. Please welcome Carrie Earnhardt and the Fresno State Choral. On behalf of California State University Fresno and the College of Arts and Humanities, I would like to thank you all for joining us today. And um, we are so honored to be a part of this event, Juan Felipe. I would also like to take a moment to thank our Provost Lynette Zelesny, our Dean Saul Jimenez Sandoval, and our Associate Dean Nora Chapman for joining us today. and for their immense support. Thank you so much. I arrived in Fresno about nine months ago and soon after had the opportunity to meet Juan Felipe for the first time as he asked me to put together a choir for this event. And during that time, uh, we have had the distinct honor of getting to know Juan Felipe and learn about this extraordinary man, not only through his words, but through the generous spirit with which he approaches life every day. Today's program will feature five new compositions by my colleagues, ben, Dr. Ben Boone and Dr. Ken Froelich. And you should know that this is the first time Juan Felipe's words have been set to song and been given a new life beyond the page. These pieces, as you will see, tell the story of a man and his journey, not just through the last two years as Poet Laureate, but they also beautifully highlight those that have played a role in who he is today, from his parents, to his school teacher, Mrs. Sampson, who helped him find his voice, to his student, Mia Barraza, the fireball of his life, and events from his tenure as Poet Laureate that have touched his heart. This program will then conclude with a piece called The Road, written by Dr. Froelich, which reflects a tapestry of sound, is a tapestry of sound reflected in this piece, which highlights the journey of Juan Felipe's voice and the many voices that have helped him along his road. I would like at this time to express my sincere gratitude to Juan Felipe for asking us to be a part of his journey. Thank you.
You are the singer, Ipanemawani, root of life. On this road of dawn, I will sing. I will carry the songs of the people in a flowery bowl of eternal spring. From sunrise to sunrise I will walk across the wilderness of desert storms and thorns, across the darkness of moonlit storms. I will sow all the lost giving songs. I will gather all the flourishing words. I will remember all the ancestors gone. youngest coarse bred child and I will say to others for each and every one of you I sing I am your youngest coarse bred child I will say to the others for each and every one of you I will sing for each and every one of you I will sing And the song, the song began back in third grade. I was in Logan Heights Barrio in San Diego, and uh, I was always, you know, speaking in Spanish. That's my language. And I had been prohibited from speaking in Spanish. And the day came when Mrs. Sampson, Mrs. Lelia Sampson in Logan Heights Barrio in San Diego, California, said, come on up to the front. Come on, come on up, come on up, and step to the front, Juanito and sing. And I said, I don't know if I can do that. To myself, I said, I, I don't think so. No one's ever said that to me. No one has ever invited me to the front. No one. So what does that mean? So I stepped up to the front as best as I could. And I sang, I sang Three Blind Mice, the great opera. <laughs> and then she turned to me and she said, You have a beautiful voice. 
And from that day on, till this very day, this very moment, that was the key to my life. And I took that key, and I took those words, and I gave them to everyone I could. That was what she was telling me, that the beauty in my voice was the beauty in everyone's voices. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
and that voice kept on singing. It began to grow, it began to, to glow as time went on. And then what happened was that at Fresno State, recently, I opened up the Laureate Lab. Uh, President Castro was so kind, and uh, Provost uh, Lynette Selesny was so kind, and the librarian was so kind, Peter McDonald, and Saul Jimenez Sandoval, our Dean of Humanities, was so kind. And a student came and became my, one of the students that came to uh, be uh, a grad assistant for the lab, uh, where we explored and experimented with words and paint and plastic walls and murals and sculptures and paper and plaster and songs and sounds with poetry. Uh, Mia Barraza Martinez, she was just so uh, eager and, and interested and full of intensity and passion for language and poetry. A beautiful talent, an amazing woman was coming to class one day, was coming to the college one day, and it was a torrential rain at that particular moment as she was getting on uh, Freeway 41. So she made a turn into the freeway, and that rain and all that happened at that moment caused her car to flip over into the next lane of the opposite um, way, and a big truck came, and that was the end of her life. So, in one of her poems, she, she, which is called I Am Miss United States, shows you the kind of uh, passion she has, she had, and continues to have today with this beautiful, amazing choir. And that's the intensity, and that's the poem that we are going to sing, that this beautiful choir is going to present to you. Mia Barraza Martinez's words, her poems, in honor of her and all, our, all the women, all the students, and all of you and everyone. I am under the sun again, my arms held up tight. Dusting of pesticide, burning into my pores. A woman with a bandana holds my ripe grapes, she holds them. Soft click click of her scissors, she leaves open wounds. I am under the sun again, where the light never ends, and all the sage is burning.
And that song is based on Mia Barraza's poem, uh, par Parading Down Blackstone Avenue. And that voice, that poem, has reached all of us with the voices of our chamber singers. And now you have her voice, her, her encouragement, and her energy. And then it makes me ask the question, what can a poem do? What can we do when something takes place? Something that's, uh, that leaves us helpless something that's far away. Maybe it's Boston, maybe it's a terrible incident, and maybe it's the massacre that we all know about in South Carolina. So I said, what can I do? I think what we can all do is make an offering. Maybe it's just to meditate on it, maybe it's to say hello, maybe it's to let go of some of the things that keep us from being really intimate and caring, and maybe, it's also a poem that we can write and send to the people. And this poem, poem by poem, speaks about this. And it was actually uh, received in South Carolina and was put on a news newsletter throughout uh, that area, in particular in the church where all this took place. Poem by poem, we can end the violence.
What are you? What am I? Yes. What are you? What am I? I'm a seventh grader. I come from the barrios. I'm an only son. I, I come from the fields. What are you? I, I am not a place. I, I do not know where. I'm not a street. I'm, I'm here. Invisible. What are you? I do not know. I must be something. Maybe from the islands. Maybe I'm Hawaiian. I want to say Mexican. Mex Mexican. But I... I cannot say it. The fire inside is all I have. You know, if, if, if I had a saxophone, I would blow it on all the streets and I would open its bell-shaped golden mouth if I could blow, if I could make the streets come alive, I could make every boy and girl dance, I could blow on the pawn shop, bro, like a, <laughs> a prince. Play then, dance then, and the golden light of your voice. Voice? 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 If only I had a voice, I would sing. I would ring all the bells. I, would, I could tell you all about things that have not been told from fields, from the mountains and valleys, the yards and the migrant fields. I would say, I would say, yeah, we are one. Play then. Dance then in the golden light of your voice. No saxophone for me, no school band chance for me. I will hide behind the sax, I will peek from every key of the sax, from the front to the back. I want to break free from all the lies. I want to break free from all the shame of being so alone and with words that are alone too, with a melody or a tone, speaking the words like, Buenos dias! Buenos dias, Luna. Buenos dias, Sol. I want to break free from me, my voice alone. Sometimes, like a cry, my voice alone, under the trees, up so high. And the voice came in the 60s. Yes, it came, it came. Liberation, the words sang. Liberation, they called power. Power, they called power, black power, they called brown power, they called women's power, 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 gay power, red power, yellow power, 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 for the people. Power, 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 Martin Luther King, Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta, Coretta Scott King, for you, and maybe me? on the road. Where do I go? But how to make my voice fly? How, how, how do you make your voice know? Why? How do, how, do, how do you bring your voice to the people? Do you stand on a hill, a steeple, or just take a step on the road, near and far, Opal, Nimowani, Far, far, far. Take a step on the road. Come up to the front. But where? How far? The road of the people. Do they have a voice? Who stole it? You? Me? Why aren't they heard? Did you stop them? You have a voice? Don't you see? You can tell their stories. They can speak them. Can you write them? Can you sing them? Now is the time. Be a poet. Be a poet. A new sign. Don't forget, now is the time. All the voices made of life, made of love. Now is the time. All the voices made of life, of love, of strife. Do you dare? I do not know. What if no one understands? What if there is no choice? What if no one cares? And what if I have no voice? The road is long. The road is made of flowers and songs. 
the road is lost. No one knows. The road is you. The road is new. When do I act? What do I do? Ask the pot and the pans. Ask the spoons. Hear them croon. Ask the tortilla roller rolling along. Ask the griddle, the comal in the middle of it all. And ask the comal, black and deep, round and funky red, where things burn, where things churn. I am the molcajete, the chile smasher. Be like me. I'm the molcajete, the chile smasher. Be like me. Chile verde, chile colorado, chile verde, chile alto, chile de árbol, chile japonés, chile, chile, chile. I am la cuchara, the one that dips into the stew, the one the witches turn and spin and brew. The one that feeds the child, the creative you. The one that tickles the wild, the soul. The one that tastes like lizards, lagartijas. The one that turns you into a wizard. The one that carries water for you to grow. I am la mesa, muy gruesa. The one that holds everything, the table that brings la familia together. Yeah. Give me a word, but not absurd. Give me another word. Give me a spicy word. Give me a wisdom word. Give me a word for others. Give me a word for peace. Give me a word to teach. Give me a word for love.
Wow, that was amazing. Thanks so much to all of you, and thank you, Carrie, for an incredible performance. Uh, thanks to everyone at Fresno State who helped make this possible. Uh, and of course, thank you to our dear, wonderful 21st Poet Laureate, consultant in poetry, Juan Felipe Herrera. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. I just have two quick things to tell you, and then you can go out and enjoy the day. Um, one, you should have gotten surveys with your uh, print programs. If you don't mind filling them out, and you can leave them on your chairs or hand, put them in the back, hand them to me. Um, they're really helpful for us when we uh, work on future programs. Two, uh, as uh, uh, we talked about, Pam talked about a little bit before, there are events going on this evening. Uh, a seven o'clock performance downstairs in the Coolidge and outside in the foyer of the Coolidge there are amazing displays of materials from our collections from the four co-sponsoring library divisions who are helping make this possible. So go down and check out the foyer. Make sure to come back early. It's going to be a packed performance tonight and we hope to see you there. Thanks so much. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.